What are you talking about? Hello. What kind of formula are you trying to do? Hmm? I don't know. I'm trying to understand what you're doing. I'm sorry. So you're trying to count the number of that are between a specific range? Is that what you're? Probably not. You probably do need to do. Can you send that to me? Yeah, I've used that, but I don't think it's going to give you the range that you want. Well, you could. I mean, but did you select? Hold on. What is I-14? What's in there? It looks blank to me, but... everybody it is july 3rd i worked for a couple hours in the office i went to an orthodontist appointment so if i'm talking funny that is why i am back in invisalign well not back in but i had like two months off of invisalign because i needed to get like rescanned but i also had to have some other dental work done in between so i haven't been wearing trays for about two months now so everything hurts <laughs> yeah and the trays make you speak funny so apologies in advance anyways what i'm doing i'm home working until they tell us we can leave hope we can leave early so i am currently working in tableau and i figured i can talk you guys or talk to you guys about this because i don't believe i have so what i'm currently working on is i i have an existing dashboard and i need to refresh it with the um, may finalized data and what i'm going to do or what i want to do is i want to create a union so in tableau you can create a union people um may have like people may call it different things i find that like people make things more complicated than it is like people are like oh i need to append the data it's just stacking the data on top of one another so you and when you're appending data or creating a union this is like if you understand how unions work in sql you'll understand how it works in tableau but you're pretty much just stacking data all of your column names need to be the same and align like they should have the same column names and align like if you have month and column one on one sheet and you want to stack another sheet on top of it they both need to have like the month column if you have names they both should have names so on and so forth so that's how it works with the union they need to be exactly the same as far as like the length and the columns and you're just adding data beneath it and that's what i'm doing i'm just adding on may data into existing data this january through april so i'm going to create a union in tableau in order to do that but i've heard it referred to as a union i've heard it referred to as a pending data i've heard people call it stacking data just very simple like if you've had if you've worked in a spreadsheet before and you just needed to add data all of the column names and everything was the same and you just copy and pasted it at the bottom you append the data you union data it's all the same thing you guys just to make it very simple so that's what i'm in the process of doing but i want to clean up this sheet a little bit because this is data that i get from our finance team to upload in my dashboard so i have it in an excel file but my only problem with tableau is that the unions like you if you're going to union data in tableau you cannot do it from multiple data sources it has to come from one source which i don't like it's stupid <sighs> So I can't like just add another spreadsheet and have it uh, like set it to union within Tableau. Everything has to be from one source. So I have to add this into an existing spreadsheet, which I feel like Excel may um, crash at any moment. So I may have to go to another process and do this eventually, which the other process I would think to do would be to create like a create a, uh, a QM table in the database and load this data into the database as I get it like so as the months progress and I get new data I can add this data into the table that I create and just load it that way and just connect Tableau to um to Teradata and just run my code that way like just a select all from the table or since this is only updated like once a month I can also set it to what is it called I can do incremental you can do incremental refreshes in Tableau so that every time that it refreshes it's not going and looking for like going back and gathering all of the rows from the tables like gathering everything it's only looking for what's new and add that into it so that's another option for me, which I may think about doing, but 
at this particular moment in time, I have no interest in doing that. But that that is a better long term solution that I am aware of that I will eventually need to do because with the amount of rows of data, like with how large this file is already, it's going to come to that. But Nakia today doesn't want to deal with it. Maybe Nakia next week will want to deal with it. So yeah, just don't. Um, yeah, these are bad habits. Don't 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 do that y'all like this is just me doing that so let me talk you guys through it so I'm let me pull up my file one second okay so this is what I'm doing I have my data and I have data um, I have this sheet of my workbook it has data with with columns A through K it starts with the month and then it ends with category and there's columns in between but then on my other sheet same thing it goes through A through K all of the column names are exactly the same so I'm just going to this is the new data I'm just going to copy that and oh I did not mean to zoom in so I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into a new worksheet because if I took this data set and like these two separate workbooks and try to well, I can put them in Tableau and I can create relationships and I can I can do a join but I don't need them to join join is kind of like if you're adding additional information like a diff additional columns to your data set so let's say for example if I had a data set that had um, geographical data let's say it had I wanted to join it to another worksheet that had state city but it also had counties in it as well that's an additional column of data so I can join those two together because I'm just extending the information that I want the data set to capture so that would be a join whereas if my second set of data only had like city and state and I just wanted to like stack that to the existing file that's where I would want to use a union so these data sets have all the same different time frames but all of the same column names all of the same information as it relates to the columns so I want to create a union and unions have to come from one data source I'm just going to rename this and I'm gonna save this file and then I'll connect to Tableau and um, This is taking forever okay so I'm going to close that out and on my data source I'm going to actually you know what I need I'm gonna remove this okay so I'm gonna drag my data here and then I'm going to drag I'm going to drag my so I dragged out my first sheet for the first table and I'm going to drag out the second sheet and when you hover over it until it turns orange you get the pop-up option that says union and that's how I'm going to create my union to union the data and after dragging that on it now tells me that it's made of two or more tables so I know that my union is complete there I have data one data two are my tables okay so I have my union set up in Tableau and what I'm doing now is when I created the union a lot of the calculated fields that I had created previously based on when they were two separate data sources are now red because they no longer exist so I'm just going through editing some of the some of the calculated fields are no longer needed number one so I'm going to delete those and then for the ones that I still need for example like I created a search box where because this is employee specific information so if you know someone name like I have it set that you can type in their name like if I was in this data set I can type in Nakia so I don't have to go through using filters or like to filter it down by other categories in order to see a specific group of employees if there's a specific person I want to search like I have a search bar and that search bar was created with like a parameter and a calculated field the field name that was within the calculated field no longer exists 
because it changed with the union. So I'm just going through and editing that so that my calculations still work for the ones that I need. A lot of them I don't need anymore because of this union. Like this solves a lot of those problems, but it also, it messed up a lot of my charts. Like I had a pie chart in here because it's broken down to show spend. Wait a minute. Why did all my data disappear? Okay, I want to expand this column out, okay? So it shows people's names. So this is theirs. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm doing in general. That's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm going through fixing my calculations because if things don't exist anymore, yeah, it's gonna turn red on your, on your spreadsheet. So I'm gonna work on doing that and I'll check in with you guys in a bit or I'll see you maybe Friday. Okay, good morning everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you all had a wonderful and happy 4th of July. It is 7:42. I started work about an hour ago and I've just been looking at some of the new things that launched for us and I looked at my dashboard and I refreshed it this morning and one of the things that I'm trying to find out is what's going on with the data because my dashboard has well it's blank but it's showing the month of July and I don't know why July is showing because I typically update my data once a month but this is the same dashboard I was working on um where I did my um what is it y'all my I haven't ha haven't even taken a sip of coffee my brain I swear what is it I unioned this is the same dashboard where I did a union of my data set and I was working on that Wednesday so I'm coming back to the dashboard I refreshed it again and now it's showing the month of July but there's no July data and there shouldn't be the month of July shouldn't be appearing in the dashboard at all because I'm not pulling data through July I'm not even pulling data through June like it skipped June and just shows July like I'm not even I'm only pulling data through May the data will not be finalized for June, for example, until like towards the end of July, it won't be finalized. So I don't refresh it until the data is final. Like sometimes I will pull in prelim to see what the numbers are looking like. But for this dashboard, I typically only wait and refresh it once a month when the data is finalized. I don't know why July is showing in there. So I need to look into that. And then I actually need to look at another dashboard. Do I have it up? Yeah, I need to go into this other dashboard that I have and I'm going to kind of do a redesign a little bit. I feel like it's cluttered. And even though I did like the dynamic zone of visibility where you can click on buttons to show additional data, I still feel like it looks cluttered so I'm going and I try to minimize the amount of dashboard pages that I have but in this case I just feel like there's a lot of information to know about this particular project and I don't want to leave anything out that's important but and these are some of the things that like the stakeholder wants to see they want to see this data like it was specifically asked for on a call but the way that I have it designed is just I need another dashboard page to so it, it doesn't look cluttered so and that's just in my personal opinion I don't like that it looks cluttered so I'm gonna work on rearranging some of those things so let's get into it first let me investigate this July data issue and I need to reboot I'm getting a warning I need to reboot um, so updates will apply so let me do this update on my computer re let it reboot and I'll come back and we'll start working on this dashboard Oh, and also one of the things that people like I've been getting questions and comments on dashboards and like just people reaching out to me and asking like, hey, what are some of the things that you're being asked to provide? So like my projects, my projects are around employee performance. So everything that I'm doing is to show how employee performance is going. So that can be are they improving month over month in particular metrics that they're focused on? Um, are we seeing an increase, decrease? Are there outlier employees that are not meeting and continuously not meeting performance goals um, or their performance targets, for example? Some other things that I'm looking at is like, how does employee performance relate to like the overall business performance? You know, the business can be performing at this level. When I look at this, like this group of employees, what are they performing at versus the business performance so those are some of the things that are turning out for this and you create different you know charts like if I want to show something over time like it's best to show like a line or area chart if you're looking at things over time which I do have a line and area chart I do use like bar charts for
for other things where I'm trying to show like different market performance. I use like a stacked bar chart for that because there's different categories within each market that we're looking at. So I, I use a stacked bar chart for that. And then I do um, when I'm looking at certain targets that that we have um, for certain initiatives. I do in Tableau, I like the lollipop chart where you kind of, I don't, I don't use it where it's like a lollipop, like the bubbles not at the, or the circles not at the end, but I like to put it where there's a line chart that shows what the goal is. And then there's a bubble on top of it that shows where they are in relation to that bar chart. So if, just think about it, if this is the bar chart that's going horizontally, and this represents your goal. I put like a little bar to show where they are towards like the end, which is the goal. Now it will show a lollipop if they hit the goal. None of these look like lollipops, you guys. So yeah, and that reminds me, I need to um, edit this other chart, but we'll get to that when we get to it. So let me reboot and I'll check back with you in a few. So I need to go in and make some updates for another project now that we have July data available because typically when we start the month like people expect like oh on the first of the month like you're gonna have like same day results and that's not the case and typically it's like two or three days into the month when you'll start to get data and in, you know into your dashboard for the current month because you typically are running it current day either minus one or two depending on what the project and metric is like for example one of the metrics like the new metric that I've discussed with you guys um, before that metric is two days in arrears so on the 3rd of July is where we would have had data through the 1st of July so hopefully that makes sense all right so I need to go make some updates I will come back to working on the dashboard. I just need to make some updates to a template that we use for our readouts. Now that we have data, even though we didn't have like a call for the readout, we're going to send out the deck with just the updated numbers. So I need to go make some adjustments to that now that we have some July data, even though it's only a couple days, like people calm down. And I'm gonna get some more coffee. I, I, I feel, even though today's supposed to be a light, calm day, like already. Why are there, what is going on? Why are there two slides? What? I'm sorry, I don't know why these slides are duplicated. I have no clue what's going on. Okay, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Like, why is this saying? Okay, let me go before this person changes stuff. They don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. Let me just say that. I don't know what you're doing and I feel like you're about to mess stuff up. Please leave it alone and let me update this. Okay, I'll check back with you in a bit. Okay, you guys, so my morning has been kind of completely derailed. I, I started looking into reporting for one of the projects that we kind of modified or changed for the month of July. And the numbers don't look right to me for the readout. So the numbers don't look right. So I'm, I'm looking into it. I asked someone else to look into it with me as well, just to get some additional support and help. I'm going to change the way that our slides look. I think we're just going to have to give like a prelim end of month June look instead of starting to give July numbers because I'm just not sure why the numbers look the way they do. So for the employee performance, 90% of the employees that have results, the results are the same for everyone and that just doesn't look right to me. Yeah, everyone shouldn't have the same results. So that's why we're looking into it. Just these are the things that happen. Like you think everything's fine, but you got to constantly be looking at data. You got to constantly be looking at numbers, looking for patterns, calling out issues. And this just, I'm not saying it's wrong. I don't know that it's wrong yet because I haven't had a chance to determine like everything I've looked at so far. It looks accurate, but when you're seeing like everyone with the same results, it's kind of like, mm, is that right? So digging into it again don't know if it's wrong but we're going to look into it a little further myself and someone else and then i need to make some changes to the slide and how we're going to um, show the performance so that's what i've been working on i haven't had a chance to work on any dashboards because i've just been digging into this issue so <sighs> that's where we're at 